you see these monkeys on the screen monkeys nft monkeys, monkeys. so can anybody guess who they are and anybody who knows please don't guess <laughs> okay mm-hmm. so i'll tell you and i'm sure few of us know who they are this is a collection of bored apes can you see the look on their face but one of and them is, is exhibiting a sign of love he's wearing those those shades with the love sign oh, sir. <laughs> this doesn't is look bored. a group of bored apes and what do apes do nowadays they're part of this industry called nfts oh jesus christ <laughs> we've heard so much about nfts and cryptocurrency and we think practical uses are out there we think nfts are just those drawings that people sell for millions of dollars we've heard that before but let me share with you some practical use cases where nfts can be used beyond digital artworks now nfts what are nfts so nfts are a one of a kind cryptographic asset that exists on the blockchain technology and they are unique they are non fungible basically it means they're not mutually interchangeable this contrasts with things yeah, like uh, dollar bills rupees a piece of gold or even a bitcoin which you can exchange for something else nfts are based on the concept of decentralized finance in which assets and market players act as a person to person on a decentralized basis it eliminates all the intermediaries now converting a real world asset into a digital asset makes processes much more easier because you can verify the originality and scarcity of information on digital platforms the key characteristic here is exclusivity so if you own it you own it the allure is there that they are a digital representation of physical assets combined with the use of unique identification and the tamper resistant blockchain of smart contracts well thanks to the blockchain these tokens cannot be copied removed or destroyed the blockchain also enables nfts to be tracked back to their real owners and eliminates the need for third party verification now the blockchain will protect the ownership of the nft the nft cannot be replicated we think we can just right click and save it and use it as our own no we can't nobody can replicate or transfer it without the owner's permission it's crazy to think about it beyond digital content beyond 2d and 3d images but there are several practical uses for it currently and in the future number 1 ensuring authenticity of products now nfts can be used to ensure that the product you're purchasing is authentic since the blockchain can permanently store information about the product checking for rarity and authenticity will soon be a thing on physical products too nfts can also be used to store information about the manufacturing process ensuring that everything is fair trade the applications don't stop at consumer products either they have been numerous companies successfully using nfts for industrial design prototyping also one problem in the world right now is fake food products like supplements and medicine nfts can help solve this by tracking and tracing food products imagine scanning a qr code of a nutritional supplement you bought online and seeing its entire journey from manufacturing to shipment in which case products that erroneously claim that they were made and sourced in a specific country will eventually be exposed because the track record is absolutely transparent real estate well nfts and real estate are made for each other nfts could be used to transfer land deeds provide proof of ownership and even keep track of changes in property value over time because they are time stamped the real estate estate industry is one of the most nft ready sectors they can be used in real estate to simplify and speed up transactions enable smart contracts for properties allowing automatic payments and even create decentralized home rental services all while protecting sensitive data like credit card details Imagine knowing everything about the property you're going to buy in just a few taps on your phone. Knowing knowing when the property was built, who owned it first, what modifications were done, and everything to the point of you purchasing it. Well, what about medical records and identity verification? NFT ledgers, which are decentralized all over the world, can store an individual medical record without compromising confidentiality or risking tampering from external sources. because nft transactions are validated on multiple places before being added to this ledger that we call the blockchain the digital ledger and when it's entered it's permanent it also ensures that every record is accurate and secure from malicious attempts and manipulation now nft applications have been designed specifically to aid healthcare professionals as well 
For example, we can have NFT birth certificates that can be issued. Now, NFT birth certificates will make sure that there is a lifelong identity on the blockchain that's linked with you. Again, verified totally. We can store safe, they, you know, there are safer methods of storing sensitive medical data also without allowing healthcare providers access while, while still allowing uh, healthcare providers access when required. Now, this is really amazing, right? What about intellectual property and patents? Now, NFTs are great for protecting intellectual property and patents. These tokens will allow users to prove their ownership of any piece of content, which is not possible with traditional IP rights like trademarks and copyrights. Ownership can be distinguished, especially with timestamps. The entire history of the IP will come ahead. The NFT chain is immutable, which means that the NFT owner could prove they were the original creator of a piece of work, of art, or anything else at any point in time. It's the same with patents. NFTs can be used to protect and certify ownership of innovation or invention. They could also provide the necessary data for verification, thus creating a public ledger that documents all the transactions related to the patent. They're also a good way to represent academic credentials. Just imagine one NFT can provide proof of your attendance, your degree earned, and any other important information, including certifications and diplomas and degrees. And everything can be stored on the NFT chain that cannot be hacked or altered. They can create, again, immutable records for courses taken. In the future, maybe issuing a paper certificate will be no longer a thing. They will be used as a record of academic achievement and the education tokens can be transferred to other individuals, giving them proof that the person holding it earned that NFT. What about the supply chain? As I mentioned before, products, especially in the food industry, have been a huge problem when it comes to verifying where they came from, what's in it, and the like. But using the blockchain, NFTs can be attached to a product, giving it an NFT identifier that cannot be tampered with. This is one perfect example of NFTs working in tandem with the supply chain. They can also give companies the ability to track the products from manufacturing through shipping and delivery. This gives customers insight into what they're spending money on, as well as maintaining transparency within the company's supply chain. The gaming industry, which started the whole trend. Well, they're a match made in heaven, the gaming and NFTs. They can be integrated into any kind of game, including cross-platform games where multiple people are playing. Now, you give game developers another way to expand their brand, and we create another revenue stream. You know, you can be playing a game, you buy this digital asset called maybe a sword or a shield in a, in a multiplayer game, and you can trade it. Otherwise, if you had it, you had zero value to it. You bought it, you spent money on it, and you just have to keep it even if you don't play, but now you can sell it. So it allows easier time trading in the games. There is also no middleman involved, so there is no worry about scams, and transactions happen immediately. Now, these kind of transactions are also being done currently in multiple games, there is a game called Axie Infinity, and there are other upcoming blockchain games that are using NFTs. Ticketing and access. One of the greatest use cases of NFT is their ability to provide access. Now they can provide access by using them in tickets. So consider NFTs are non-fungible and can easily be tracked. They're perfect solution for eliminating physical stubs and providing people with a digital trackable traceable option. Additionally, if you own an NFT from, say, a concert, you can actually sell it as an important memorabilia years later. Plus, these tickets can contain the terms of conditions, the expiration dates, and any other limitations. This makes it very easy for both parties to keep track of the tickets and the information stored on the ticket. Well, after World War II, a lot of artwork has been lost. They were replaced by counterfeits, some stolen by individuals, groups, and whatnot. Soon, original artworks can be tracked with NFTs. They can be tagged with NFTs and tracked. They, they can be physical artworks, digital artworks, or maybe you can take a physical artwork like the Mona Lisa, turn it into a digital artwork, and then have an NFT on that. So you maintain the digital token and the physical token separately. So you can track the originality of a specific piece. This also ensures that property is indeed authentic, especially if you bought it from an auction house. So no more fake art. Owning an NFT may come with many benefits. One of those is the collectability aspect. They're often associated with collectors due to the ease of verification and authentication. Now you could buy something and you don't know if it's the real thing or if it's a replica. 
buying a fake collectible is a collector's worst nightmare and this is where non fungible tokens nfts save the day from the time the nft is minted or created on the blockchain ledger it allows you to view the entire transaction history of that collectible including the date it was created who created it and where it has been over ever since so you can verify an asset's authenticity you can also trade this asset based on that nft again which is physical proof of what you have so it's friction free and stress free what about voting in many countries we are we are supposed to bring a photo id and a proof of residence and sometimes we don't have copies of uh, our id sometimes we change our address we don't have documentation these things keep happening and people go and vote for each other there is proxy vote but what if voting is integrated with nfts nft solve this problem they would provide a digital identity for people without physical documentation that proves who they are and where they live and what country they live in so no more cheating no more voter fraud they will serve as an official record of those who voted and their votes defi defi is decentralized finance now nft nfts also have a very crucial role in decentralized finance you can actually take a loan on the basis of like you take a traditional loan you give collateral where here you can give nfts as collateral you can access the you can uh, share that nft and say okay give me a loan and on the basis of the nft you can get a loan and you can pay it back in real time you can get access you can keep track of what is happening what kind of loans we have taken who's taken the loan are they paid or not and if the loan is not met on time the nft can automatically be transferred to the owner uh, to the person who's given the loan and the entire process does not need any other intermediaries so it's strictly peer to peer now nft marketplaces are there so nft loan marketplaces are also there who will take nfts as collateral in exchange for a loan music the industry as a whole definitely needs some disruption it is expected that music will eventually take off in the same way as art and collectibles this has started artists like shawn mendes grimes and snoop dog have all dipped into nfts discovering new ways to both monetize and engage with fans well there are artists who want to do for music what the nba has done for basketball they've taken these collectibles these key moments and they've sold them as nfts now bands want to do the same thing or maybe nfts music and decentralized finance could all merge just imagine if music masters could actually be pooled and fractionalized you could receive income as dividends for streaming you would partially own part of michael jackson's music so every time it was played every time a, a cd was sold a record was sold you could receive income as a dividend don't you think that's really really amazing we just get into that point and the bonus the metaverse which we keep hearing about nfts will play a role in its development these use cases that we mentioned about are also applicable to the metaverse you can pay for products using nft tokens and also cryptocurrency this is the basic foundation of the metaverse the future avatar who you are in the metaverse is going to be an nft nobody can steal that from you it's your actual identity within the space they can also be used to buy nft avatars of others however the nft of a celebrity may cost much more than you can afford or not be available due to licensing issues to conclude nft use cases are still in their infancy but it is clear that not only games will benefit from this but also regular people who are going about their daily lives not only will this provide ease of use for many services but it would also increase transparency on many transactions especially when it comes to ownership of physical properties artworks real estate a concept or an idea in the coming years we will see more development in this field and you might even realize that it's already here at the rate that it's going thank you so much